All right, guys, for the last three weeks, I have loved England to win the Euros. But I've won so much money decoding Pope Francis rituals and Italy, guys, have so many sinks to him. I've put out many videos as to why I love England to win the Euros, but here's a video to show you that Italy have a lot of strong numbers and a lot of strong riddles. I have so much riding on England to win this that I will need to hedge on Italy to lift the trophy. Even without this information I'm about to present, I would have hedged on Italy. Guys, when you bet, you have to bet smart. I'm going to ensure I end the day with a nice profit, whoever wins this game. Obviously, if England win it, I'll win a lot more money. But I need to ensure that I end the day with a nice profit. Check out this information, guys. It's absolutely mind-blowing. The first part of it benefits both Italy and England, and then the majority of the decode benefits Italy. So again, do whatever you want with this information, guys, but you'll definitely learn something. So Pope Francis is the first openly Jesuit Pope, and he resides in the Vatican Rome. We know he was born in Argentina, and Argentina just won the Copa America yesterday. I don't think that was coincidental. But here's the history of the Jesuit order. There's a decoder called Neil, who's absolutely incredible. This part here of the decode is all him. Everything below is information that I've gathered. So the Jesuit order, guys, was recognized by Rome in 1540. And the first game of Euro 2020 was played in Rome at the Stadio Olimpico. It was Italy versus Turkey. Stuff like this is not by accident, guys. Okay. And look at this, the opening goal. Wow, I've just seen this. The opening goal of this tournament was scored after 53 minutes. Own goal, the first goal in the tournament was an own goal, of course it was. 66 minutes as well, wow. The second one. Anyway, this 53 it goes for both England and for Italy, which I'll get to. But by the end of the video, guys, I'm hoping you'll just realize that it's all ritualistic. It's the whole goal of my channel, guys, for people to see through the illusion, not just to win them money. By the end of this video, you'll be like, oh my word, I think he's right. I'm pretty sure pretty much anyone watching this video will say, oh my word, this is undeniable at this point. So England won the World Cup, leaving 154 days left in the year, in 66. Again, funny how this second goal was scored after 66 minutes. And Roberto Mancini today, he can pick up his 154th career loss. So that's great for England. However, he can stay on 153 career losses and the Jesuit order equals 153. This is interesting, 1,540, like 1540, is the 55th triangular number and 55 is the 10th Fibonacci and 10th triangular number. We know England last won a major championship 55 years ago when they won the World Cup. However, these 10s could favor Italy because if Italy win, they will ensure that only 10 different nations have won the Euros. However, I personally prefer the 11s that England can become the 11th different nation to win the Euros, a tournament that began on the 11th of June and ends on the 11th of July. I decoded Sebastian Eubank's death, who was highly connected to the number 11, the English boxer, who died at 29. Check out these 29s. Ignatius of Loyola, he was the founder of the Society of Jesus. And he was injured by a cannonball at the age of 29 years and 209 days. Isn't it funny that Harry Kane was born on the 209th day of the year? And 29 is the 10th prime. Again, it wasn't a coincidence that 29-year-old Ericsson, who wears the number 10 shirt, went down with cardiac arrest. So Ignatius was made first superior general of the Society of Jesus on 419-1541. And that was the 109th day of the year, guys. And 109 is the 29th prime. Again, that's why there's been so many 29 rituals, guys. So many. So, look at these 53s here. 
Italy won the Euros 53 years ago. Okay, they won it in 68 in Yugoslavia. And just confirmation here, 53 years from them winning it, they are now in the final of Euro 2020, although it's being played in 2021. And I showed you here the opening goal of the Euros was scored after 53 minutes. And Italy were playing in the opening game. They're now playing in the final, which is the last game of the tournament. 53, guys, is the 16th prime number. So they may win the 16th edition of the Euros 53 years after that win. However, England have strong ties to 53. Elizabeth became queen in 1953. And 53 is the 16th prime. England can pick up their 16th Euro win today also there's exactly 53 years between the birth dates of Jeff Hurst and Raheem Sterling Jeff Hurst wore the number 10 shirt Sterling's wearing the number 10 shirt today in the final also Jeff Hurst in Gematria equals 53 so that 53 it goes for both teams I just need to show you that this is how they double code everything they don't make it easy for People like myself, but I will always find mind-blowing information. So five months and six days from Pope Francis' upcoming birthday, guys, this final. Again, another 56. Like, how many do I have to show the world at this point? Another 56. And just so you know, Society of Jesus equals 56. Roberto Mancini is 56 years old, the head coach of Italy, coronavirus equals 56. So Italy won the Euros in 1968 and that was the same year that the term coronavirus was coined. Remember Italy was the first nation in Europe to be hit by coronavirus, this is what they do, it's all sick and ritualistic guys. Okay, Italy and England are not in the final, okay, because it was organic. And they've been the best two teams, it's because it was all ritualistic for them to get there this is what I'm trying to show everybody and I'm also trying to show everybody that they sync up all of these sports which I'm about to prove now so yesterday Conor McGregor dropped to 22 and 6 I'm going to do a video of my decode for this fight because it was perfect I was on Dustin but Connor dropped to 22 and 6. These records are not by accident either, guys. All right? And if Italy win today, they're going to be 22 and 6 at the Euros. 22 wins, 6 losses. However, if they lose, they can have 17 draws and get the 7th loss, like 177, like the Jesuit order. But these 226s, check them out. So Argentina yesterday won the Copa America. They scored their winning goal in the 22nd minute. And guys, the game was 22 weeks and six days before Pope Francis' birthday. So this final took place on July the 10th, 2021, guys. 22 weeks and six days. And on the same day, Conor McGregor drops to 22 and six, his record. But I do like this, I like the five months and seven days because England equals 57 and the 160 days, they can get the 16th all-time win at the Euros. And again, look, this fight with Connor and also the Copa America final on the 191st day of the year, the Society of Jesus equals 191. I think I'm definitely showing the world who's behind Big sports, guys. That was my biggest goal. And remember that Angel Di Maria was born on 14-2 on Valentine's Day, like Christian Eriksen. And Angel Di Maria, he celebrates with a heart gesture. That's his celebration. And Eriksen supposedly had a cardiac arrest. And Valentine's Day is associated with hearts. See how sick it all is? See how sick it all is? Look, Angel like Angel and Christian. It's all biblical as well, what they do. Angel and Christian. 
Also, I don't think that it was a coincidence that Argentina won their first Copa America in 28 years. And this was Connor's 28th fight, and Dustin picked up his 28th win. It's not a coincidence, guys. It's hard to process that this is also perfectly synced. But when you put in the work I put in, you see it. You just see it. So Argentina win their first Copa America in 28 years. And on the same day, McGregor has his 28th fight and Dustin picks up his 28th win. Also, this is good for Italy, I guess. This was Dustin's 34th fight. And we know Italy coming into this game on a 33 game on beat and run. They can make it 34 if they don't lose today. But again, 33 in England, huge. 33 in England is huge. So it's also going to be England's 303rd game at Wembley. That's huge. This is crazy, guys. You can see why I have to hedge on Italy. So Maradona's death for me was definitely a ritual for Messi to win his first trophy for Argentina. Literally one year after Maradona dies, Messi wins his first trophy with Argentina. Very interesting. But was that also a ritual for England? Obviously, England and Maradona have history from the 1986 World Cup. But then again... Maradona played in Italy for Napoli where he had a ton of success. But it's just all synced up, guys. I just hope and wish that some people will not just look at the outcomes and be like, ah, oh, but you decoded 10 games and you only got six or seven right. Why can't they just see this information and process the information rather than just obsess over, well, how much money did you win? How much money do you win from Dumatria? It's all about money, okay? That control tool that people are obsessed with. I'm not obsessed with money. This here, whoever wins this, guys, whether it's Italy or England, this information here is absolutely incredible. And by the way, okay, boom, Djokovic won Wimbledon. I got on him at the beginning. He was only even money, but nice. The Italian got beat. Again, I don't know if that syncs up with Italy getting beat today. We know Wimbledon's takes place in England I don't know but again the fact this Italian got to the final is definitely connected to Pope Francis when was the last time an Italian got to the final of Wimbledon men's final so Djokovic gets it of course the last three sets 666 six, six. how very interesting 433 three. I don't see much there Okay, so Berrettini won 18 games. Djokovic, 24. Wow. Okay, 24 plus 18, that's 42, isn't it? There's a lot of 42s in the favour of England. That's interesting. Okay, that's good. Well, I've already won some money. I got on Djokovic at the beginning to win Wimbledon. I just don't win a lot of money, but again, it's a nice profit. I'm happy with that. Cheers, Djokovic, the Joker. The Joker. So, yeah, guys, there's a lot of numbers for Italy. If the whole ritual is about Pope Francis and coronavirus, Italy win. If it's about all the other things I've found for England, incredible information I've found for England, then England take it. So I really hope England win. Financially and, again, just the amount of information I have on England, like I said, I could write a book. And even if Italy win, I could write a book to show the world how rigged these sports are, guys. How rigged they are, how they sync them all up. I've shown you how they've literally synced up a Copa America final with the UFC main event and how the Copa America final and the UFC main event could definitely, definitely be connected to the final of Euro 2020. Got the Italian in the final of Wimbledon. The day that Italy are in the final of the Euros. 
So yeah, guys, let's see what happens. Whatever happens, I'm going to have one hell of a decode. I'm going to put another video out later today as to why Dustin won. I decoded Dustin to win a really, really, really good decode for Dustin to beat McGregor. And by the way, McGregor, did he break his ankle or his leg or something? And it's like he didn't feel any pain. Guys, are these top athletes 100% human, honestly, at this point, without sounding like a, a wild conspiracy theorist? Are they? Guy snaps his leg or breaks his ankle, whatever it was, and he's fine. It really gets me thinking, guys. It really gets me thinking. Like the whole Booker incident with Beverly in the NBA, where Booker broke his nose at a perfect time. Like, is somebody controlling these people or what? I don't know. I really don't know, but that's, that's for a different video. So there you have it, guys. If, you, uh, if you're betting on this game, good luck. We'll see what happens. If England don't win it, I've given you a video as to why they probably didn't win it. If they do win it, you don't have to say, oh, illusion, you're amazing. Wow, what a, what a call. No, all I want people to see is that sports are ritualistic and it's the Society of Jesus, the Masons and the Jesuit order behind the outcomes.